The very first thing I think EA could definitely do as we move forward into season seven is by having simply less copy and paste promos. Now, what I mean by that is pretty much every single format that we have had this season, bar two, which is the Lone Warriors one and the No Shade in November one, have all been copy and paste. They've been exactly the same structure with a couple of tweaks here and there from season five promos. And if you guys think about season five, we had a bunch of different promos, which had then led to these formats being reused and copied again and again and again now don't get me wrong sometimes it has worked like say for example the mint condition promo the look back promo those two had copy and paste formats that we've had seen previously but they still made them really good and they were still very fun promos this season but there is still so much room for improvement and as we saw with this season when ea decided to come up with a completely new structure with that lone warriors promo it can work really well loads of people love that promo and it is probably one of the best promos that we have had all season it was very fun to go ahead and play through nominee spent and it shows that ea can definitely come up with some creative ways and new promo structures to keep the game engaging and exciting and that's what i'd like to see more of going into season seven and it's not some crazy new feature that i'm saying ea need to add into the game it's just simply looking at what's worked maybe mismatching a couple of promo formats if they don't want to come up with something completely new but making something newer and exciting because at the moment if you see a promo like you see the sneak peeks and stuff you're like oh i know i can't really get that stuff it's pay to win i'm not going to bother playing it but if it's just new you'd at least want to give it a go to see exactly what you can get maybe find out how it's working maybe there's loads of different ways you can go loads of different masters you can get and i think having loads of different types of structures would be very nice so obviously this season has been very good on the no money spent aspect which i would like to see carry on forward i understand that we still have to have some pay to win promos but there still could be a good option no money spent and maybe we see some more differentials between a pay to win and a no money spent player but having the less copy and paste promos would fix that in my opinion because it'd be still more exciting to go ahead and play through and if you think about this season we've had a ton of promos the amount of promos that ea keep churning out are really good there's loads of stuff you can go ahead and play through sometimes if there's nothing you really want to play through there are some other stuff you can do and we'll go on to that later on but keeping up with the momentum is pretty good but i wouldn't mind too much if ea decided to slow down a little bit like we get a few amount of promos but they're higher quality meaning that they are less copy and paste meaning that they might take a little bit longer to get ready put together to figure out how it works and all that stuff and all of my suggestions in this video are probably going to be more on the realistic side rather than crazy stuff like a my career mode commentary all of that stuff i'm trying to keep it realistic as to what ea could pretty easily do in my opinion into nba live mobile obviously i have no idea how hard any of this stuff is to code so i may be thinking something is extremely easy to make when in reality it is very difficult but let me know in the comment section down below what features do you want to see in nba live mobile season seven another thing that i want to see is more coin packs or even just more interesting packs in general because with every single promo what we've had is basically you're going to open coin packs to get some tokens or some points you're going to watch adverts to get these packs as well or you're spending nba cash there's no real exciting packs and if you look back in previous seasons way back when in seasons one two possibly three even four had some pretty decent packs to open with coins those were so much fun you'd see like qjb opening up bundle after bundle yes they might have been nba cash packs but you could go on with coins and open some good packs even season two you'd have ilogics opening a ton of packs to try and get lucky and it gave you so much excitement to watch these guys open packs to go on the game yourself and try and get lucky and pull some of these guys if you pulled them that's great you'd be sharing that over social media telling your friends and all that stuff whereas at the moment we don't really have that we have at the moment pro packs you can buy with coins monthly master packs are pretty good i like that because they are still a chance of getting players from those packs but we're really missing a key part in the store of what you can get with your coins what really interesting packs could you buy it with cash because at the moment in my opinion there aren't really that many good packs now obviously this is coming from my point of view where i don't spend any money on the game so obviously i'm not going to have tons of nba cash to buy all the bundles and everything and maybe the fact that we have got less youtubers in general posting about the game is meaning that we're getting less pack openings and less people trying to pull stuff that could be the case but i would still like to see some more exciting packs being put in the store to go alongside promos or just standalone packs and another thing i would like to see them add is having simply more incentives to play different modes now what i mean by this is if you look at showdown arena seasons we have got those modal masters but some of them aren't really obtainable unless you're putting in tons and tons of hours into the game to get them and by the end of it those cards might not be really worth a lot for your team take stephen curry for example as your season mode master you have to play a ridiculous amount of season mode which in itself is a little bit boring in my opinion to go ahead and get yourself steph curry 
who you might or might not use for your team. He might be relevant, he might not be relevant. If we could have loads of different incentives, not just with those three modes, but also with League versus League, because that is, in my opinion, a part of the game that hasn't really got many updates at all. Yes, it's a nice place you can go ahead and play different leagues. For example, if you remember in season one, and I think a couple of other seasons, we had Mobile Masters, and those were different aspects of the game working together to get these guys who you knew were gonna help your team out. I think they were at 95 overall, which probably doesn't mean like a lot looking at the game now, but the cap back then was 99. That was the maximum you were gonna get. And that goes back to an overall cap, which a lot of people like, a lot of people wouldn't like, in the game because at the moment we don't really have that you don't know what the maximum the card would be meaning players lose their value but that is a whole separate thing going on from these modes is taking a look at showdown in particular at the moment you can use a multi-year lineup and come up against a season six lineup and vice versa having the multi-year lineup is both good and bad like i wouldn't mind it if there were two split things so say if i go in with a season six lineup I'm guaranteed to come up against another season six lineup or season seven when we're in season seven. Or you just get rid of multi-year lineups completely from showdown. Either way, you have to be able to separate between the two. We've seen people getting to the top of the showdown leaderboard saying they're at really low overall in the season. So say everyone's already at 113, 114, the top guys, and there's someone in the top 10 maybe of showdown who's only got a say 98 overall team the reason for that is they might be playing with their multi-year lineup and that kind of defeats the purpose of having to grind all of season six to try and get a great team go into showdown just to come up against a season three or season four lineup and they haven't actually got a great season six lineup so i'd like to see that differential or maybe just scrapping multi-year lineups from showdown entirely we have been seeing this season that ea have continually added a couple of new dunks new layups all of that stuff and it has been nice to see at least from my point of view i might have been noticing stuff or maybe i'm noticing stuff that was already there and i'm just sort of realizing it now but having those nice dunks it is good to see it's nice to have a variety of dunks and they have been dropped in the game little by little with different players here and there and i like to see that and i'd like to see them continue to add new dunks new layups all of this stuff to maybe existing dunk packages or making them new as well and maybe even signature dunks as well i think it might be very nice obviously that might be a little bit more on the optimistic side rather than the realistic side which we're trying to stick to in this video and maybe highlight as well when a player has a dunk package or doesn't have a dunk package because i get so many questions and like asking how do i know if this player has a dunk package does this grandmaster have a dunk package is it worth getting this master if they have a dunk package and it would be so much easier if there was simply like a way of telling you whether they have the dunk package or not but then going on to my team a little bit and special courts and jerseys is something that i would like to see make a return if if you look back at previous seasons maybe even season four for example we had lots of really really fun court i still have the all-star 2021 court and even the time to rise court which was insane like the artwork on that i think it was from some graphic designer who did some stuff with the nba but aside from that i like to see some new and interesting courts because the only ones that we've had this season i think are general team courts which of course come with every single team and then also i think we had the all-star court as well which was pretty decent but i'd like to see that more because we have had some really really good artwork on some courts and it'd be nice to see that carried through and same with the jerseys as well it has been a little bit lackluster in my opinion with the jerseys that we've got all season and it'd be nice to switch things up a bit and to bring back those new and exciting courts and jerseys to be as an extra way of customizing your team to make it stand out from everyone else's and boosts as well boosts were better this season in my opinion with keeping it structured not going too crazy early on and then having to dial it back i think they did a better job this season with boosts and the categories and the way it works but there's still some slight issues with it of course some mishaps here and there with giving team boost to ones that weren't meant to have team boost and then that having a knock-on effect as we get through the season but i'd also like to see having a set way of being identified team and position boost because that creates a lot of confusion in the community because there is a big disparity between the two the team boosts are really really good the position boost not so much obviously they are going to be a bit better at the beginning of the season but having a way to identify the difference between the two would be key in my opinion and making it obvious to all users and going on to lineups this one is a bit more optimistic and something that i personally would like to see and at the moment we have three play styles you've got power finesse and strategic but in my opinion they're pretty much pointless you're going to pick one and that's pretty much going to be your team as we go through the season you're going to try and match people to your boost item but what if we had three separate lineups you had a finesse lineup a strategic one and a power one and you have to try and upgrade all three of them simultaneously 
That would be so much fun. In season one, that was the case. You had five different lamps, not even three, five, and you had to keep upgrading them bit by bit. And that's what made the promos pretty good. And you'd want to try and grind every single one because there would be a promo that you'd need a player from every single time, pretty much. Whereas at the moment, if you're a strategic player, you look at a promo, there's only one maybe strategic player. You don't really need it. That's it. You're not really going to play the promo. But if there was that incentive of trying to upgrade your finesse lineup and power lineup alongside the strategic one, I think that'd make for an interesting place. Obviously, that is a bit more on the optimistic side and would require a little bit more of a change to the game, but it would be something that I think would be pretty fun. Another thing is to be able to play with your friends without Facebook, because that is the only way you can do it at the moment. And it would be pretty fun, not just to play on stream with you guys and stuff. Maybe if I simply just have to search up your username and then play against you, that'd be so much fun. I could just play against pretty much everyone. We could do one-on-ones and stuff like that, have some crazy challenges, but not just on that front, also just playing with your friends or playing with other people you meet online. That'd be so much fun instead of having to spin arena at the same time hop on into the same league and make sure you're just below them in terms of ranking so you can play them or adding them on facebook because the majority of people don't actually have facebook and that would be a pretty fun way of being able to use that in the game and we've seen that work with fifa mobile they have the feature where all you have to do is type in the username of the player add them as a friend they add you back you can play them it's as simple as that you can play them in real time as well which is just absolutely insane and we'll end off with the auction house now the auction house at the moment is a little bit of a mess in my opinion we get some good times where everything's selling everything's going well and then slowly bit by bit we get less and less stuff selling and then we have to wait a bit and then we get an update and everything's fine and it keeps going round and round like that at the moment obviously the promo players when they come out they aren't auctionable which i think is a little bit of a shame because it's meant the coins are pretty much worthless this season there isn't too much you can buy with your coins yes you might try and snipe some guys but at the end of the day the only players that are really worth anything on the auction house are life pass players monthly master players anything that are straight away on the auction house when the promo is out are probably the only things that are really worth something in the auction house which i'd like to see changed having it regularly updated making the promo players maybe go straight onto the auction house give the coins value as it were in themselves and also maybe just having it completely revamped as well fifa mobile did it with their game they revamped the whole market as it were so it made it look like the stock market which could be a little bit confusing and might take a lot of people a lot of time to actually get their head around but it would be something fun and exciting to see and just to be able to sell your card would be so good to have in NBA Live Mobile and making coins worth something as well. That is going to be my pretty much realistic wish list for NBA Live Mobile Season 7. As I said, I didn't want to go too crazily optimistic with any of these sort of features. I do think the majority of these EA could definitely add to Season 7 and it'd be interesting to see what they come up with for the game. But if you want to leave your comments down below, I'll try and make sure I read all of them and maybe feature them in a future video as to what you want in Season 7. But in the meantime, if you want to go check out these crazy season seven concepts go check out the video in the bottom left hand corner trust me some of them were really really good go check out that video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace